Hi, I'm Rob Eater, editor of DSN. Recently, Walgreens celebrated a major milestone when it opened its 8,000th store at the corner of Sunset and Vine. That store is also Walgreens' first West Coast-based flagship store. In this segment of DSN Virtual Store Tours, we travel to Hollywood to meet some of the minds behind the innovation, as key members of Walgreens' merchandising and store design teams walk us through this exciting new store. All right, we're back here in front of the number seven display. I'm with Gordon Falk. We're from the uh, Alliance boot side of the business. The man really largely responsible for developing this concept for, for the Americas. Um, you know, Americans, uh, U.S. customers have had a small taste of, of the number seven brand for a few years. They've seen it in other outlets yep. here in America, but never, never like this. Can you talk to us about how this set has been developed for the, United, the U.S.? Yeah, no, fantastic. Um, we, we're really proud of this because this is the first time you will see this sort of merchandising arrangement in the, uh, in the U.S. Um, we're really pleased to be working with Walgreens to be able to get bring this here. Um, this is a, um, number seven, as you may know, is the biggest um, skincare cosmetic brand in the United Kingdom. Mm -hmm. um, we have had tremendous success. It's um, available only in Boots in the United Kingdom. And um, this is the way that we would um, merchandise it um, in England. Um, and here you will see all our top selling um, number seven um, product um, from Protect and Perfect um, serums uh, through to everyday skincare all in one place. Um, a lot of this has been uh, developed um, for the U.S., mm -hmm. for the, especially for the U.S. market as well. So, Gordon, here's here's a product that was developed here for the U.S. Um, what, what's different about this one? Well, what we found in the U.S. is that um, the U.S. Uh, woman really is quite demanding in terms of her skincare. They take it very seriously, um, and what they look for is regime kits and things that they can use together. So, this is a, a kit that we've put together, which has both our day cream, night cream, and uh, the eye contour cream um, are all in one kit, which also gives them a saving on the um, products independently. Um, and it's there in one kit so that someone can buy the whole regime at once. That's kind of neat, you know, because yeah. you've got the premium product, you've got a value placement here and a solution all in one. Absolutely, and that's what number seven is all about. Right. It's about accessibility to everybody. It's taking very high quality products, but making them available to everybody. Accessibility is at the core of what we do. All right, now here we are. We're right in the heart of the Look Boutique. I'm here with Beth Stiller. Beth, you know, the number seven, obviously that's new for this store, but I'm seeing a couple other things in here that I haven't seen in other Look Boutiques. Can you talk to us about some of the other innovations that's taken place in here? Absolutely. So as you come past number seven, you'll walk into the department, you're greeted by uh, lots of new brands and some new tools for our beauty advisors. So uh, you're going to see brands like The Balm and Cargo, of course, which are new introductions to the Look Boutique, which our customers are going to be very excited about. Mm -hmm. As well, you'll see um, Gosh Cosmetics, which is an exclusive arrangement that we have. Great line out of Denmark, high pigmentation and colors fantastic range for us that you'll find here in the Look Boutique. And you'll also see our expanded commitment to um, prestige skincare mm -hmm. in our expanded skin area. And finally, the kind of the toolbar. So where the you're getting the toolbar here, which is where you'll find everything you need to get the perfect look. So your, our Look New York um, brushes and implements as well as Japanesque, a great line of all the implements you need to get the perfect look. I think it's, it's really cool because it, it kind of picks up from the spirit of, these, of the nail bar right. and takes what was traditionally an inline category and makes a star out of it. You know? That's it. It creates yeah. a real hero and it really helps. I mean, because our beauty advisors are so engaged with customers, you know, once we get the perfect product, you need the perfect implement to apply it to create the perfect look. So mm -hmm. this is, creates a great playground. We call this our petting zoo. Okay. So this is a great place for people to understand the quality of the products. We're sure. really proud of the range that the team has developed. Um, so this helps people get their hands on and really get engaged in the category. That's really great stuff. You know, the other thing that I noticed is there's a lot more color in the displays. That's true. So we're making sure that we can really call out those brands. As you look across the department, you'll be able to see those iconic brands up on the headers so people really can see the destination and come all the way to the back. I mean, you will find gems right throughout this department from front to the back. So mm -hmm. we want to make sure that it's bright, visual, and of course, the one thing we focus on so much in the design of the Look Boutiques is light. So whether that's um, using the right color and the right type of LED lighting and making sure that we've got lots of natural sunlight coming in, it makes it a great environment to cus for customers to really find the perfect product. So here we are, we're 
further in the heart of the Look Boutique. Um, here with Mike DeFazio, my old friend from the 100 Broadway store. Mike, you know, one of the coolest things that you guys have really done with these stores is, you know, the product is great, the way it's merchandised is great, but there's always these extra things that come together. These really creates an experience, it engages customers, and, and, and teaches them about the products in the store. And I think that what we're standing in front of is a great example of that. Can you talk to us about this new fixture? Yeah, so Rob, we created this fixture to bring about new product innovation into the store. And, and what a way to do it with audio visual, right? So, you know, obviously Boots Number no. 7 is a, a new introductory brand here at Sunset and Vine. Uh, and what a better way to show it to the customer by taking it back to its heritage, right? 1935, number one started and it, it morphed all the way to number seven, which stands as the product brand today. And this fixture just tells the story. And the video that we're looking at takes the customer through the evolution of the brand. Yes, that's correct. That's great, great. And it's really good looking. The shape of this looks kind of familiar, Mike. Can you talk to us about the shape of this? So the inspiration for this fixture was the Freedom Tower. So being the guy from New York that I am, right, I. Uh, I looked at it and said, wow, we could really do something with that design and shape and make some cool fixture in the store. And this is what you see here today. Now we're back here in the middle of the upmarket here and in the middle of all this great fresh product. I'm with Jim Jensen, the guy responsible for this stuff. Now, we've seen sushi in some of these offerings and some of the other stores, but this doesn't look like the sushi I've seen in New York City. Can you talk to us about what's different here? Sure, yeah, we've done something a little bit different here for Southern California, Hollywood specifically. We've got a product that we're calling fusion sushi, right? Okay. So it's the best of what Japan is doing and the best of what the restaurants are doing, combining it into one and getting the offer right here in the store. So this is truly about as good as restaurant quality sushi can be right here at Walgreens. Mm -hmm. And uh, what you're seeing is a bit of an ice look underneath the, the product. Oh, and cool. this product here is something you know brand new to the marketplace. We've got individual cups. So you have rice, you have a layer of raw fish, usually it's tuna or salmon, and either a spicy sauce or an eel sauce to, to complete it. So you haven't seen this in any other store. I have not seen that. Uh, I've, I've, I've barely even seen that on the menus in New York City. This is terrific, and here are the guys responsible for it. Yeah, they do fantastic work for us, great partners. Terrific, terrific. So another area that we've evolved uh, the offering for Upmarket is in the juice and smoothie area. Uh, my team had a lot of fun. We came out here months ago and looked at every local uh, juice shop, even the food trucks. We tried everything. So some of the new ingredients that we went after were hemp powder, dates, goji berry as a superfood, and we've created some recipes that are really interesting. We've got chai berry bliss that has kind of menu options that you'd probably not see even in our Chicago flagship stores. So th that's among many fantastic different recipes that are very specific to the area. I mean, that's the great part about doing this is when we go to the local area, we find what we would call the best purveyors of product in that area and bring them into Walgreens to, to offer that to our customers. So we've got um, a couple of different so local bakeries here out of Santa Monica. One's Caprice okay. and one is Gotta Have S'mores. Gotta so, Have S'mores. Right? And so okay. we'll, we'll talk about one of their feature products here. So this is, um, it's actually called a smuffin, believe a smuffin. it or not, right? <laughs> okay. and, but it's, it, it's a s'more. So it's, it's all graham cracker uh -huh. dipped in chocolate, chocolate down the center, and a bit of uh, marshmallow on the top, and then it's Toast toasted a bit. a bit. And I got to tell you, you, you might not, you want, not, might not want to try it on camera, but you have to try <laughs> it because you, you will want to eat the whole thing. What we're really proud about that we did new here is a hot food program, oh, right? Okay. So hot breakfast and hot lunch. So you get things like sausage, egg, and cheese muffin that's really popular, sure. right? Okay. And we have a, an, a really fantastic oven in the back that takes less than two minutes, and this comes out piping hot and grilled. Oh, wonderful. It's fantastic. And so we've got other items such as the breakfast burritos, and we, we even have things as unique as a corned beef Reuben sandwich. I am with Warren Bobbick. Warren, he handles wine and spirits for Walgreens, and clearly wine and spirits, beer. This has been a big focus of all of the, the new up markets that Walgreens is delivering. And uh, it's just like every other flagship store, the game has been raised here. Absolutely, yeah. So one of the things that we really strive to do in these departments is to elevate the consumer's experience. And you can see through the use of uh, innovative technology and a beautiful wall treatment, uh, the wine spectacular that you see behind us really sets the mood the second that you walk in the store. Uh, and then from there, uh, I think the consumer is going to find an amazing selection of wines. 
95% of which are California wines, anywhere from Central Coast up to Napa Valley and everywhere in between. So we've really focused on making this store California-centric with our wine statement. We always try to incorporate localization into the department. We have a really unique solution here I'd like to talk to you about. So Rob, this is a section we're really proud of in this store. We work with author Rex Pickett, uh, who came up with the, uh, the book Sideways and, and later the screenplay uh, that became the movie. Uh, and these are the wines that inspired the movie. Uh, so these are all of Rex's personal uh, picks and he's been able to provide us with tasting notes for each one of these and a little bit of information about each of the regions that these come from. Wow. So these are uh, very, very close uh, to this area that we're in right now. Uh, geographically and, and certainly some of the best uh, wines in California, many of which are, are Pinot Noirs. Uh, as you may know, uh, Rex Pickett's movie really uh, helped uh, invigorate uh, the Pinot Noir category uh, and really put it on the map. So we're really proud to showcase uh, this piece of localization that we've developed. So I'm Rob Eater and I'm here with the entire store team of the new store here at, at Sunset and Vine and they had something very important that they wanted to tell you. Guys, we, we have, have a 